everyone. It's that time again. Time for your favorite show. Let's, Let's get, get it, it right, right with, with GIPF. With me, the one and only Peno. And me, Nole. And there's something we really need to get right on today's episode, Peno. Oh, what is that, Nole? Well, we need to make sure that everyone knows the difference between the GIPF and other pension funds in the country. Right. Yes, of course. The GIPF is not just any pension fund. But first, why don't you remind our viewers what we learned in our last episode? In the last episode, we learned about the members of the fund and the origins and history of the GIPF. Correct. Um, and on today's episode, we will be discussing the difference between defined benefit fund and a defined contribution pension fund. Spot on. So tell me, Nole, how are we going to separate the GIPF from other pension funds in the country? Well, I say, why don't we give it a try? Unlike other pension funds around Namibia, which are defined contribution funds, the GIPF is proudly one of a few defined benefit funds in the country. Which means the GIPF is one of few funds that provide guaranteed benefits to its members. Okay, okay. And what is the difference between a defined benefit fund and a defined contribution fund, Nole? Let's start by describing them. In a defined contribution fund, the amount of pension you will receive at retirement is not specified in advance. It will depend on how much you contributed each month, how much your employer contributed each month, and how well the investments performed over the years. In short, you as the employee carry the risk of the investments made with your pension. So... If the funds in the investments perform poorly in the markets, the members run the risk of losing some or all their time and benefits? Yeah. Wait, what if their investments in the stock market go up? Then the benefits of the members of the contribution fund go up too. And if the stock markets go down? Then the benefits of the members of the defined contribution fund go down too. And sadly, members risk losing out on some or even all of their benefits. Yeah, that's scary. Yes, it can be quite stressful. Whereas a defined benefit pension fund provides guaranteed pension benefits to its members, the benefits are defined by the rules of the pension fund. The benefits are based on the final average salary, the age of the member, and the number of years that the member contributed to the fund. Uh-huh. This means pension paid to the retiree upon retirement is not dependent on the contribution of the members. It also means that should the fund be unable to fulfill its promises to its members, the employer undertakes to provide the benefits as promised. Wow, now I get it. That's why the GIPF, as a defined benefit fund, is able to guarantee its members benefits no matter what happens in the markets. This is so cool. The GIPF's business is to ensure that pensions and related benefits are paid once they become due. Phew, we have learned so much today, haven't we? It is always important to have accurate and reliable information about how our money works and who is making it work for us. Okay, that's all we have time for, people. Be sure to tune in to our next episode for more information on your GIPF, where we will be discussing the employer contribution model and member contribution method into the fund. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.